after a year in the studio, my album Aphrodite was ready to be released to the world. I'd managed to have my press launch exactly where I wanted it, the island of dance, Ibiza. This song lets you in, gonna get back down and up again. I got you on my side. It's just a roller ride. It's the truth. It's I'd like to welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. It's great to see you all here, and I really can't believe this day has finally arrived. We've just had some news in, hot news off the press. I don't know whether you know this or not. Uh, Midweek figures sales so far of your 11th studio album, Aphrodite. Number one in eight countries so far. <gasps> Top 10 in about 13 so far. Amazing, amazing. 11th studio album. To hear that kind of news, how does that feel? I'm a bit shaky with that news, actually. I mean, it's, I feel emotional enough. Anyway, that today's here and... Oh, hang on, I've got to breathe a second. What would you like to ask, Kylie? Live touring. In the past, you've been a workaholic. You've kind of gone for it. What are we going to do this time for this album? Are we going to have you on tour for a good year or are you going to keep it a little bit neater? Neater? Neater. Neater. Like a nice, tidy little touring schedule. Wrap it up in a couple of months. That's not going to happen. We're definitely touring next year. I'm already very excited about it. I know it's going to take a long time, so the workaholic in me will not rest just yet. A title like Aphrodite just, you know, that's a no-brainer. The things we could come up with artistically, creatively, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Fantastic. Thank that you. for a press conference? <laughs> Pasha, I thought I'd be kind of, you know, a bit more cool than this walking in, but you come in and there's a vibe and there's no one even here. It's Pasha. By tonight, I'm just going to be completely overwhelmed, for sure. It feels like beyond people liking the songs and the music, they're really feeling it and they're feeling this kind of euphoria that Let's face it, we could all do with a bit of that now and then in our lives and to know that we've created something like that and people are feeling it is really more than I could have wished for. So I'm a happy bunny today. My little tail is just, just wagging. Cheers dear, happy Aphrodite day. Happy Aphrodite day. Happy Aphrodite day. because the stage size is so small here. It's like about a fifth the size of what we normally have. So everything's got to be virtually re-choreographed. I think the atmosphere is going to be off the scale. I don't even think you're going to be able to hold that camera. Good luck, everyone. I'll see you afterwards. Come on. Catching all this glamour, right? Catching all the, the entrance glamour. Okay, guys. was released to the world, where everyone seemed to welcome her. And somehow I'd committed to a world tour, the biggest I'd ever imagined. 
A lot of work would be needed, and I mean a lot. So, what's a girl to do? Go down to the pub. For my label summer staff party. You don't see this very often, the tour manager loading in. We're in a pub. You know, I'm so excited. It's, hey, I've hey. never done anything like this. Please put your hands together for the one and the only Miss Kylie Minogue. Really special, really great honour to, to have her down here. I mean, she's part of the family. You know, I've worked with her for 10 years now, and she's just such a wonderful artist to work with. There's never, you know, a dull moment. It's always fun. You know, when I asked her, I said, "Look, will you come down and do this?" Immediately, about hesitation, just said, "Yeah." That's all I have to say. That's it. That was a big surprise. I normally see everything, and I didn't see this. So, my first pub gig ever was amazing! I guess it was liberating because it wasn't a huge stage and the lights that are synced up with this and that, and no choreography. And no props, yes. Although I did manage to find something and climb on top of it. I have said I'm like a meerkat. I need to find the, the highest thing. Giving me a taste of doing small venues. So we'll see what happens in the future. One more time, what you got? Wow, 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 wow! Oh, so what now? Now that Aphrodite had emerged from the sea, it was time to plan her journey around the world. And yes, there would have to be some choreography and maybe one or two props for her to play with. But not just your average props, goddess-sized props. Aphrodite, it's a word and a name, a title that has so much meaning and so many references to it, and it just seems such a rich mythology to draw from. And the idea of this goddess of love and sex, or sexuality, just seemed very apt for Kylie, I think. You know, a lot of people say that Kylie is kind of synonymous with joy and and love and laughter and I think if you have the experience of seeing Kylie live I think there's this, this tremendous sense of like love in the room and especially you know her history over the years and she's had a lot of loyal fans and obviously being sick and stuff I think that you know there's this great love for her regardless of how successful the particular record is or whatever so it just seemed like an obvious point to start developing the tour. <laughs> It just seemed to make sense to create the set design and the production design around the Temple of Aphrodite, really. It kind of starts with her birth and then ends with her kind of crowning on this cake and this water world. But as usual with how Willie creates the show and how we work together, it's not, not just putting things in there for the sake of it, there's integrity behind all of these fabulous technical features we have. William and Kylie came to our team. They said that they had this idea for a water show slash concert and asked if anybody had ever done it. And we basically said, nobody's ever been crazy enough to try something like this. Water shows live in hotels, they live in theme parks, but nobody can break it apart and tour it. A lot of people working on this worked on previous shows of mine and their eyes are just wide going we can't believe the scale of this and how much we're putting into the show it's the show that keeps on giving it's beautiful i'm working with the best team i really really am i mean they are all top class and beyond their talent their heart is in it and we all want this to be a show that is nothing short of breathtaking. And in my role as Aphrodite, I want to summon all the power, all the magical, glamorous, mystical, loving power that is possible and share it and people can take it home. That's my plan. It's Easier said than done. <laughs> She's very creative. I think that's, you know, that's the other thing that people don't realise about her, I think. I normally, and, and it's the case again this time, I don't have my costumes till very late in the piece so that's always a that's always something on my mind I'm like okay because Tony will teach me incredible moves and then I'll say that well, actually the, the skirt that I'm wearing I can't fit in the car <laughs> with it so
Kylie, stop <laughs> it. No, yeah. I know about these things. <laughs> Especially in Kylie's early days, not so much now, but you know, she got a lot of flack and a lot of criticism for not being uh, musical or not being a musician or not being able to sing or, you know, all that that's kind of that's kind of haunted her, really. And I think that's been, a, you know, a motivation for her. spread out. You get to him on key. Okay, can we maybe yeah. spread out there and get the I used to be more stressed about my vocals just because I was when I was inexperienced, but now that's the least of my worries. Yeah. So if you do your first break, you could look first. Then start to okay. Kylie is very giving and I think she gives herself to everyone, she gives herself to a crew, do you know what I mean? She's not averse to going into the canteen and sitting with everyone. It's very much a team environment. She's totally human. I think, you know, she's one of the most human performers that I've worked with. If I wasn't talking with you, I'm here with, if I get in the car, my folder's open, I stare at the set list, and, um, yeah, get in the zone. Not that I ever really leave the zone. I'm thinking about this tour 24. And we do our stretches in the car on the way and stretch it out. Ooh. <laughs> Not in it, you count for nothing. It's from the film Meet the Parents, but I thought that was important since we are family for the next few months. And on top of it being an ambitious show, a big show, a dangerous show, it's good for everyone to know who's who and get over that initial stumbling block. I think some people were nervous. I said, it's all right, you don't need a joke or you know a special party trick. Just say who you are and what you do. That felt really, really nice. Denmark. Everything is covered in white. Minus 20 Celsius. I'm from Jersey. We get cold, but not that cold. Second little cup of tea, chilling. I'm so excited. You're gonna be amazing. Oh. Good luck. Have a great show. Yeah, you too. Have a great show. Hey, do you want no bracelets in the one? This is team dance. Do this. Choreographer of the show. Cool. He's so clever. Aphrodite. <laughs> The walk we've been waiting for. I've started to get a few jitters, which is well, in Koso. Not great. <laughs> Very much. Nice. Outdoors, pushing carts through compact snow and ice. 
I'm not complaining. of all this sort of naughtiness going on up here. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 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 Have the band lost their minds? Have the band lost their minds? <laughs> Mess with Aphrodite, baby. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's hardcore. She sings every single note all the time. She doesn't miss a trick. And honestly, if you see her make, she says the wrong word. She's like that. Oh, oh. I've never seen anyone who's that much of a perfectionist. So and she's fun. Good fun. And we love her. She's actually really really musically talented. She's, you know, impeccable timing with the band. You know, there's not many performers that can just do something, you know ad lib and get the rhythm or you know like feel comfortable and i think that comfort has come from relationships with her band through doing the tours we're in mannheim it's our third show in a row again hey wart mal wart mal jungs now it's time to start playing with props <laughs> um, i'm channeling terry wogan circa blankety blank era I had my rang, but it's, it's gone now. Is that formaldehyde? Severe boredom, pretty sure. We usually play cards, but that's uh, it's got all very quickly. This is all Dave's, <laughs> well, Dave's MD, so it was all his idea. Come Let's go for creamy some... raspberry. Whoa. I'm coming through, but I have no idea where I'm going. Oh! <laughs> Around here. <laughs> <laughs> Timo, you can't drop the F bomb on K.com. Could you I'm just so provide sorry. us with an in for early? With an ip? What? A beep! Yeah. What when I say beep? Uh uh. Beep! And I say beep! I have act never actually been presented with something it's quite like that. Like the <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fruit stick games, <laughs> It's basically I'm trying to break the fruit stick habit. It's like cold turkey. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. On nudity! <laughs> that was going to be my first you suggestion. Can peel the layers thought, oh, off. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a good one, too. It's yeah, quite peachy. Hang your coat up, hang your coat up. Lock the doors up, lock the doors up. Let the steam rise in the spotlight. She vibes so much from the band. She gets so much out of it. And I think uh, the band and her relationship with them and the relationship with the backing singers, you know, enables her to be freer, which is a key thing with Kanye on stage. When you do a show that is so programmed in terms of, you know, aerialists and screen moves and, you know, all the technology that's involved in, in this show, that can be very kind of claustrophobic. It doesn't allow her the kind of ad-lib moments and those kind of bonding moments that she has with her audience. like what a month five weeks it's not just been a house it's been a home it's been a oh. so we say goodbye to the bus bye bus goodbye bunk. bye bye
dankbar. As all goes on in there, Jimmy, that is the place where it all happens. Let me just show you what goes on in there. There we go. So Saturday night in Cardiff, this is what happens, is it? How are you feeling now? Splash Lord, OK? Over here? You can tell that she's having a laugh and, and that she's happy up there. Splash! I think that's a confidence, really, that has come since she's been ill and since she recovered, and I just thought, she just thought, f*** it. Manchester! Tonight is the 24th time that I am playing here. First of four nights. I have some stories in this venue, mostly ones I can't share with you. <laughs> this is the venue he had to carry me off stage. It was the famous half a show. And that's where you did your interview. You were sat on that chair, avoiding every question. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Why aren't you wearing any merch? <laughs> Final show in Manchester. It's been so amazing. I don't know when I'll be back, if I'll be back. So I better enjoy every minute of it. I'll give you everything I have again. Well, let me just take a serious good look at everybody, yeah? Tour turbans, get your tour turbans. One of the rules of being on the road, <laughs> you have to make do with what's around. So I have now invented the turban tee. I've got to cut the sleeves off though and cut it down here so it makes one long piece. Wrap it, twist it, twist it, wrap it, boom. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's a lot of mixed emotions today. The final show of the European leg of Aphrodite Le Folly. If I think back to years, 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 years ago, I spent a lot more time on worrying and worried and worried and worked myself into a complete spin Be because I was learning. Because no one can, you know, you don't study a book and you know how to do this. You have to go out there and pretty much have those experiences where you fall flat on your face and you pick yourself up and strike a pose and move on. <laughs> Tonight is the equivalent of the marathon runner coming into the stadium. And it's always like this at the end of a section of a tour. But we're gonna run into that stadium, hear the crowd, and our bodies will magically find the energy and the muscle. And I think there might even be some tears by the end of the evening. 
Do you think you might shed a tear, Jimmy? It was farewell to the water stage for the time being as she was packed up to ship to Australia. It was time to prepare for the next stage of our epic odyssey. I will have a day off, maybe two days off or three days off. And then we've got to do some rehearsals for Aphrodite Live. Anyway, don't let me jump ahead of myself. I can't get too excited about that because we've worked to do. I'm so happy to be here in Japan and it wasn't an easy decision to make in light of the disaster and the aftermath but I've wanted to come back to Japan and tour here for such a long time and if ever there was a time to, to come and show how much I love this country it's now. We're going to rock and roll. We're on an American bus tonight. Yeah. So I'm the filling between. Who am I the filling between? I don't know. Me. I'm, you. I'm the bread to your ham. So, to, well, I'd like a probably fish paste. I would have thought yeah, maybe. fish paste. Yeah. <laughs> I think fat. Dave's on the bottom actually. So right. You've got a, I'm you the go. pickle. You're yeah. the other bit of bread. Unless it's a Danish open sandwich. Hello, hello. Miss Kylie Minogue. Yep, 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 yep. First North American show. <laughs> Rock and roll. What is pop and roll? What is the symbol for pop and roll? USA! I am here! Your Aphrodite is in the house! Go to the White House. Yes, you do. <laughs> Lucita, Roxy, Tenji, Dishan, Raina, Diana, Jeremy, Yuri, Luke, Tom, Martha, <laughs> Jason. I will see you. I'll see ya. My high kicks Jimmy? mustn't have been high enough. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fair Facts. What's happened to my voice? <clears throat> That's what happens when you almost do nine shows in a row. Women's basketball. Yeah. How do you dribble? 
Right. Good training. I end up with a lot of crazy things on tour. They're not all immediately attractive, but you've got to learn to love them. And eventually they will get under your skin. This one, old oh, blue eyes, platypus. You can't leave that, you see? Minutes, everybody. Twelve minutes. <laughs> seven minutes. Probably is about seven minutes. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. To Atlanta. To Atlanta. <clears throat> Woo! It's coming, Johnny. Nice. Oh, yes. Get a I'd love to say I don't do stairs. I love all the noises before a show. All the excitement building. And I'm talking backstage. I'm <laughs> not up. It was time to head south of the border where things were heating up. And being on the road for so long means things can get a little crazy. It's crazy to think of what we've done over the years. I could tell you where each and every one of these pictures was taken. Oh, a little set of pink eyebrows. I'm singing my heart out on stage and there's some nights where there's people 
who are just fixated on my shoes. They like taking pictures of my shoes, talking to each other, what size do you think she is? So I've <laughs> I stop and say, um, hello, forming here. And no, you're not having my shoes. I need them. They're too small for you anyway. Elvis is right here. Yeah, always in the, in the building. <laughs> Aphrodite was homeward bound as we headed to Australia, and she was reunited with a water stage. I have no idea how excited I am about this. We're back to more shows to go in I don't know how many countries and when I saw that fact on a day sheet I actually came over a little bit oh, I have to say this is my favorite tour ever hard to be truly definitive about that because there's different reasons to love each tour from a kind of fulfillment point of view I think this is the best tour because I'm the most comfortable I've ever been performing stage is all right costumes all right Band, dancers, crew, they're all all right. But you know what? None of that works if you ain't got a killer coffee machine. <laughs> You're welcome. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Ask me anything. I'm gonna be in a, I'm gonna be in a coffee haze. Ask me anything. Go on. I'll see, see, see if I can say. Concentrate. Tell me something filthy that nobody knows about you. I don't have that long, Jimmy. <laughs> Ten minutes, everybody! Ten minutes until show time! Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Thanks for letting me know, boys. I have not had time to think today, Jimmy. I've been Crazy. sucking up all the love from my family and the kids. I have my own personal backing dancer slash god, you know. Black Cooper boy. Slash clown. Woo! <laughs> <Woo! laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink already. You can ask me anything. You can ask me anything. I will do it. I always wanted to have this moment that was like this real quiet, still moment after all this high energy stuff. For a Kylie song, it's just so stripped back and so kind of naked. If you want to... But another reason for doing If You Don't Love Me was uh, it's our tour manager's favourite song, Sean. And Sean had an aneurysm last December. And we didn't know if he was going to be able to come on tour. I mean, fortunately, he is on tour. He'd been going on for years about doing that song. Amazing, absolutely incredible. What's going on here? Roxy, we did it, we did it. Roxy, you're not leaving. No. You gave all the money for that. And then there was just Sean and I. It's the way it always ends up. It's the way it always ends up. <laughs> Traffic in Jakarta is 
crazy. So we are going to the venue in that. Someone asked me before, so what's been your favourite place? I, I just drew a blank. I'm like, where have we been? Which leads me to think, where haven't we been? We've been so many places. My only regret is that I couldn't take this show everywhere. I think it's the heat that's done it, actually. It's official. It's official. Yep. <laughs> I'm a mother. <laughs> this tour, I have been more relaxed, more comfortable, more joyous than ever on stage. It's been really, really rewarding to feel that. I've longed for that for the longest time. I've really let loose, and some of my my crew have even commented perhaps less anguish within me. <laughs> a tour is a lot easier if your personal life is harmonious and Andreas has been nothing short of spectacular on this tour. He gets it. Gemini, on tour, woman, I mean, you name it, he's got a lot to deal with. Popstar down! Popstar <laughs> down! Basically, the show wouldn't happen without Lion because she keeps me together. Shawnee Sean, he came back to full strength on this tour and that's been a beautiful thing to see because it wouldn't have been the same without him. The last and final shot. I love you guys. I love you, I love you too. I love you, Lion. <laughs> Shawnee, <laughs> the final show! <laughs> us here and those who are not here who all played a big part in this show don't look at me like that Yuri because I'll cry I want to thank all of you sincerely it's been just the most amazing memorable experience and um, really appreciate all your talent and dedication and what else I think that touring can can kind of imitate life in a way and you go through all sorts of emotions, ups and downs. We have good times and bad times and we've all been on the ride together. And I know my name's on the top of the bill, but you all know that I have you all up there with me and I don't stand on anything if it's not for you guys. So I really thank you from the bottom of my heart and I hope you've enjoyed the experience as much as I have. That's it. That's it. Without an audience, the stage is just a stage. And what an audience I have. They inspire me. They elevate me. Their passion and support means more than I could possibly say. The Cupid boys. The golden girls. The truly fierce and mighty. They're all part of my year as Aphrodite. So lucky in love.